Queen City Gaming fans. So welcome back, guys. Today we are looking at the Rebel um, ATRT Unit expansion. And I know you're like, oh, why, why are we looking at this? It's the same thing we get in the starter box. Just like, you know, the thing that I have tons of because I bought three starter sets and I, I don't play with these. Well, guys, um, the the uh, ATRT that is actually... Yeah, ATRT that is actually in this box is different than the one that is found in the core sets. So if you look, you actually have a different rider pose on here. So if you want some variability within the model itself, and um, so your guys kind of look a little bit different, this is a great kit to get because of that. Or especially if you uh, don't want <laughs> six uh, core troopers, but you do want the uh, ATRT rider to make you do like a triple rotary list, this is a great kit to get. So in here, guys, unlike most of our trooper boxes, we do get like a little plastic sprue, and it has our three baggies of uh, different bits in here. So we had the main body to the um, to the ATRT with our long legs, super easy to put together. We have our rider bag with his arms and everything. Pretty nice little model. He'll fit in perfectly with all your other rebels. And then we have our bags of our little comms antenna on the back, our three weapons, so our flamer, our laser cannon, and our rotary cannon. And then right here you can see the hardest parts in this kit to put together are these little pistons, mainly because you can get them piston one and piston two right here. You can get them confused really easy on which leg to put them on. So super cool kit, probably one of my favorite kits that have come out for Star Wars Legion. And I'm really excited for the clone one to come out soon. Uh, our base that comes with this remember it's a vehicle so you do have to have the uh, the slots in the base to use it correctly with the uh, line of sights and your angles our instructions super easy like I said not many pieces to it with the hardest parts when putting this model together are these pistons they're really easy to mix up and you know you glue one in here and then you go to put it in the other one and you find out it's too long great right uh, and then the three weapons the laser cannon the flamer and the rotary blaster so super easy kit to put together and I just dropped the instructions so they won't be set up here like all of our normal stuff all right okay and surprisingly guys this was actually the first vehicle kit in the game which is super cool so the um, proof of purchase we have our you know three single wound tokens one three wound token a uh, aim a dodge and then our um, three vehicle damage and then our activation token, so pretty nice. All right, as far as upgrades go, now remember guys, this is an older kit, so the points on these cards are not 100% correct. All right, so we have long range comm link, which is really good, so it allows you to get orders even though you're uh, far from your commander. Comms jammer, which is really good. And then we have the ATRT flamer, so it's range one, two black dice, blast, fixed front, and spray. This thing is crazy at taking out hordes, especially droids. Really like it. And then um, you combine this with his melee option, and he's actually a pretty good little up-close fighter. All right, we have the ATRT laser cannon, which is range 2 to 4, 1 red, 2 black, impact 3, fixed front. Not my favorite option, but a decent weapon, and it does have its purpose. One of my favorite all-around guns, though, for this kit is the ATRT rotary blaster. It's 6, or sorry, 5 black dice, range 1 to 3, fixed front but it gives you the best of both world, worlds. You get the high output with good dice and a decent range. So really good, really good option for you right there. All right, let's put these out so y'all can see those. And finally, guys, we have the unit card itself. So it has the armor rule, so you cancel all hit results, which is great. All right, it's a climbing vehicle, and it has expert climber, so you do not roll defense dice or suffer wounds when climbing which is uh, pretty cool, and you can climb just like a trooper. So you have your weapon slot and your comms upgrade slot. You have six health. Four is your damage threshold. So after you take four wounds, you have to roll the uh, dice to see what type of injury your vehicle has. We're only rolling white dice, and we surge to crit, which is really nice. We are moved two. So the uh, rider itself has a... Uh, a blaster rifle, range one to three, two white dice, and then grappling cause at range, at three red dice with impact one. So really, guys, if you wanted to run this thing bare bones and just charge it up the battlefield, you still do have a little bit of a range attack with a decent melee attack, and this thing's hard to shift. 
and at only 55 points, it's a good distraction Carnifex. <laughs> For those of you who play 40k and know that term, basically it's a big thing that runs up the battlefield and takes a bunch of wounds to distract your um, opponent from shooting other things in your army. So super cool kit. Um, I do really like combining it with the rotary cannon because it's kind of a decent point value that you can still run up the battlefield. It has really decent shooting on the way in and is that threat that, oh man, I've got to deal with this or I'm going to take five black dice to the face. <laughs> so overall, super cool kit, guys. But that's everything in the box. Overall, this is a fantastic kit and worth worth it for really any addition to uh, a Rebel Force. Super awesome. I love it. I um, I think I have nine of these now because I have three of each weapon. But super cool, super awesome. Can't wait to fill these more on the table, especially the Flamers. The Flamers to me, um, especially in Skirmish, I feel like they're really, really nasty. But guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for watching this review. This is Queen City Gaming signing out, folks. Hey, hey, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for joining us here at Queen City Gaming. We strive to produce the best content for you. Remember, guys, come see us on Monday for our More Tactical Mondays where we go over battle tome reviews, uh, strategy, and tactics for different games. It's a super cool video to watch. All right, on whatever Wednesday, we normally do unboxing videos for a variety of games, anything from Star Wars Legion to Games Workshop products to um, Fantasy Flight to, um, to Game of, uh, Song of Ice and Fire. Super cool. And guys, on Saturdays, join us for our awesome sit and talks where we kind of hang out, build models, chat, and our battle reports, which are going to be fantastic to watch, guys, ranging from all different types of games. Thank you so much for dropping by, guys. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and thank you for coming and watching this video. Do me a favor, though, before you go, please hit that subscribe button down below and give us a thumbs up if you can so you can uh, see some more fantastic videos of us. Alrighty guys, this is Queen City Gaming, signing out folks.